Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by MacMania Tutorials and Tutorial Union. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Netflix iPad app onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. And to do this you must be jailbroken and on Cydia, in Cydia, you must have open SSH installed because installed, we're going to be doing some SSH into the iPhone. So first thing you want to do is go into your iTunes and you're going to want to go to search store and download Netflix iPad app so you're going to download it right there after you're done with that go to your apps go to the Netflix app control click show in finder or reveal in Windows whatever and then you're going to option drag it to your desktop change IPA to zip use zip and unzip it take that folder open it up and then go into the payload folder there's the actual app so now we can delete these two folders okay so now we have the Netflix app so now after we're done that we're gonna SSH this app into our iPhone so the client that I'm using to SSH is called Cyberduck. I'll have a link in the description for that. And for Windows, there's WinSCP. So let's open up our SSH client. Open connection. Choose SSH, the server. You're going to want to go into your settings. And then your general, no, I'm sorry, settings, Wi Fi, and then the Wi Fi, and then you're going to choose the IP address right there. So 192.168.1.4. The username is root, and the password is alpine. A L P I N E. And you're going to hit connect. And then what you're going to want to do is copy the Netflix.app into your iPhone. So you're going to want to go to private var and then go into stash and then go into applications. As you can see I've already dragged the Netflix app. You're going to drag it like this into that folder. But I've already done that. So after you do that, you want to right click or whatever, hit info, and make sure you change the permissions to all of them just, just so we don't run into any issues. I change it to 777, so you know, you just check all the boxes. Then after that, you're going to want to go on your phone and you're going to want to restart your phone to make sure that's done. And then after that, a Netflix app is going to appear right there. But I actually, using um, Winterboard, I hid the app. Because you're not going to actually launch your movies from the app itself. So that's now you have the Netflix app. If you open it up, it's a big red box. But you'll get an error message and it'll just crash. So the way we're going to fix this is we're going to trick the iPhone to thinking that it's an iPad because it's an iPad app. And you're going to want to download two things. You want to install SB Settings and User Agent Faker. So that can be downloaded in Cydia. Manage. Packages. And I should have SB Settings in there, right here and user agent faker and after you're done installing those two apps you can just search for them you want to close out of Cydia and the way you open up um, SB settings is you just slide across and user agent faker but should be there but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to replace um, the playlist file from user agent faker to think that it's an iPad 
So what we want to do is go to private var, then click on mobile, then click on library, and then click on SB settings. Did I click that? SB settings, toggles, UA faker, and here is the UA faker playlist file. So this is the one I've already edited. What you can do is you can drag it to your desktop. Just hit continue because I already have it. I want to open it up. It's going to open in property list editor. And there's a code. Here's the video description I'm going to make. You're going to take this code where it says string. You're going to take this copy paste this into there so I've already done it there's something different for you so that basically think makes the thing think that it's an iPad so once you're done with that whoop did I quit yeah basically you're gonna replace the file so you're gonna drag it in well first you want to delete the existing one and then you're then, then you're then you have to drag in the modified one so after you're done with that you're pretty much set to go. Just go on to Safari and then click on your um, item that you want to play. And let me just demonstrate for you what it should look like. Full episode, I'm going to show you a few. So I'm just going to hit play. And this is what it should look like. It should start up in the, goes to the Netflix. I'll say preparing and then it should say preparing and then the movie should load up and let's just wait for the 24 to load up so um that is the app. The only downside to having it is it wastes a lot of battery. So when you're watching your movies, you're probably going to want to have it connected to a power source. So yeah, that's how you get the Netflix app onto your iPhone.